Good day everyone, welcome to a new market update and today we're going to discuss why Bitcoin is still in a bull cycle as in the past few weeks I've seen the sentiment flip from bull to bear market within one go. It even flipped bull bear bull bear within one day. This seems to be the case that common sense is just deleted out of the markets while the markets are just heating up for the next big wave and it's in a bull cycle. And there are def different metrics that you can use to define whether there is a bull or a bear cycle or whether we are still in a bull cycle and that's what we're going to discuss today but before that do not forget to subscribe to the youtube channel beneath and also like or dislike this youtube video and comment if you uh, want to see some special content we're still developing new stuff we're still integrating new stuff uh, subtitles are also coming to the youtube channel uh, but it all takes time i can't do everything in one day so we're just working very hard to uh, make this more professional and we're getting there also as you might know um, next week the live streams are coming back again so at 19:30 central european time and monday and thursday i'm going to be live streaming for you to discuss the markets discuss what's happening answer your questions and also do requests that you might be having which you can put in the chat there so um, today bitcoin bull cycle and immediately we can just go to the chart as you can see that a bull cycle takes longer than the previous bear market so you should understand that once you're going to bet on a bear market you are making the most difficult bet that you want to do in your life so if, imagine if you go back to for instance apple and you use all the information that you have based on i'll just use the monthly i guess if you want to bet on a bear market you can see that there's only been a few secure bets that has been happening for instance in 2000 we had the massive crash on apple it dropped about 95 percent or 83 percent amazon dropped about 95 percent i guess then the big crash in 2008 which didn't really come to the stock markets but still a very harsh correction of 60 percent which essentially is just a run back down towards levels but yeah the crash happened back in the day then still we have got some corrective moves in between would you call such a corrective move a bear market no it's just a correction in a bull cycle as we can see that the bull cycle is just expanding and expanding on apple the same has been seen on amazon and the point that i'm trying to make here is that if you want to bet on a bear market you're betting on something that's just happening not too often so you should be very sure about you about your proposition because if you do that you're betting against the general trend of the market so for instance the trend was upwards here during the dot-com bubble then we crashed heavily so since then it took about 2003 to 2007 it took about four and a half years before we crashed again and since then it's already taking more than 10 years before apple is literally going into a bear market so are we going into a bear market with bitcoin no i'm not giving that assumption or not getting that assumption given the fact that we're just in a bull cycle and you could also argue and there's a cool video about uh, um, raul paul discussing this topic is the valuation of apple and amazon too high at this stage because this is the very standard parabolic that you see across the markets or is the fact that this apple uh, measure is being done against the us dollar does it mean that the us dollar is losing value which is pushing the value of the apple stocks and so bitcoin upwards so given uh, what he done what he has done is he divided the apple stock by the fed money supply and then it be remained flat over the years so this actual increase means that the us dollar has lost value over time so once again if you want to bet on a bear market i think you're making a very critical bet there and right now um this cycle is just not it's just starting up and i've discussed that altcoins are also heating up um, so i think you don't want to be as the one saying that there is a bear market right now so when we get to bitcoin at this stage there's also some key metrics that i'm using on the charts to see where we're standing so you can see in this entire chart that we have got 2012 to 2014 there's more uh, data front here um, there's also 2014 to 2017 which practically is about four years right 
So there's the group of people that assumes that we're go just going to copy paste the previous cycle and that we're going to top out around here, which is here. Then we're going to top out around January 2022 or let the last stage of this year, which might be. We could have the four year cycle. However, uh, my assumption is that the actual impact of the halving is going to decrease over time as the actual impact of macroeconomics is increasing over time through which um, that is taking over and that's why the cycles will not be four year cycles anymore but every new bull cycle will take longer than the previous one given off maturing of the markets and the more money being needed to push the markets a certain way so when you look at it in a perspective from a technical view you can say okay bitcoin is currently hovering above the 21 week ma just like it has been doing in 2014 and 2017 just like it has been doing right now so as long as it stays above the 21 week ma you can be sure that we're in a bull cycle right that's something that we have derived from the previous bull cycle and in this case it's also the, the fact so once it lo it's losing the 21 week ma you're going to look at the 100 and 200 week ma for the next support play um doesn't seem likely but we have to take in account that once the uh, 21 week ma is lost you're going to look at the 200 week ma for sure given that we've got this bounce here too so that's just key metrics that you should be using at this stage the market is above the 21 week ma next to that we also have the figure that we've got a hidden bodies divergence or at least we've got those higher lows being taken into account and as you can see in the previous cycles these higher lows constantly came to the markets so as long as the market is making higher lows and higher highs and as a matter of fact this time it's about 44k that we should be staying above which we literally are if that happens to the markets we are going to continue towards new higher highs so you should be aware of the fact that that is also a key metric to watch if 42k to 44k is lost you're going to look at anything around here and probably you're going to look at the 100 day or 100 week and 200 week MA. Then next to that there's also a discussion whether the RSI is something that we should be watching in the fact of being a indicator or an indicator that we're getting close to the top. Well if you were using the RSI as a key indicator that a uh, top is in one of these two so for instance if you were saying okay we're we're getting to the top of the cycle because rsi is above 70 you would have cashed out bitcoin at a thousand dollars which is just not what is happening right now so if you were doing the exact same thing here you would have cashed out bitcoin at 40k the rsi can stay above 70 as long as it wants it's just a momentum indicator so you should not be deriving too much information out of this um, it's not even useful in this case so relying too much on an indicator is not what you want to do however if on multiple time frames weekly monthly daily everything exceeds into 90 or 85 plus you're getting quite sure to the fact that we're getting into a parabolic phase and that's when you want to cash out so then finally there's also another metric that i'm using heavily which is on-chain analysis and in this case on ethereum you will see the exact same it shows that uh, for example the exact same thing happened from july 2016 to january 2017 in which price goes up and on-chain balances go down so given the fact that institutional money and more adoption and more options to buy bitcoin for instance during this week we had coinbase that accepts paypal orders for bitcoin the more that is happening the heavier the supply shock is going to happen to Bitcoin, which means that there is so much demand right now that it will push the price up as there is less supply on the markets. And you can see that the amount of Bitcoins are dropping down heavily as they are going into cold wallets or hard wallets and into investment purposes. So in that way, as long as this is currently the, f the factor and there are more uh, multinationals jumping into the markets, but also there's more adoption in fact of um, usage of this medium of exchange called Bitcoin. Um, I'm quite sure that we're in a bull cycle and betting on a bear market is just very complicated to do, especially in a technology that's advancing this fast, especially in a market where the US dollar is losing value over time. 
um, true inflation that we have still. Um, I think the bet is that you want to be involved into crypto. And I think the bet also is that you want to be involved into altcoins. Are we going with Bitcoin towards 300k to 500k? I guess we will. Because if you look at the valuation of gold at this stage, it's about 12 trillion. And if you calculate that for Bitcoin at this stage, it's already above 500k that we're going to hit to. I guess this is the cycle that Bitcoin and gold will get to the same standards. So if we are going to have a top cycle for Bitcoin, I guess it's going to be above 250k and closer to what 350 to 450k. And I guess it will also be longer than this year. I think we will have some more substantial sideways periods before we start to accelerate again. So where are we? I guess 1998, 1999 for the dot-com bubble. Uh, we are accelerating really fast and it usually ends up with a fast and big crash as well. Um, so that's why we create this YouTube channel to prevent you from making mistakes. That's why I always give entries for coins to look for instead of chasing FOMO. But all I have to say right now, Bitcoin is in a bull cycle and you will have to enjoy it. So take care, enjoy the bull cycle, um, be patient, be disciplined, smile, enjoy life. And I'll see you again tomorrow for my top five altcoins for May.